hello welcome to coffee dress class please if you are new to this channel please subscribe and be part of this class and for my subscribers and those who have been watching my videos thank you very much for your love and support please keep watching my videos and without drawing there will be nothing on this planet yet and today's lesson we are going to develop a cylinder so we are going to draw the plan the front view and the development of the surface so we are going to develop a cylinder this is uh, that is today's lesson please subscribe and be part of this class thank you yeah so this is the cylinder we are going to develop today so we have this cylinder it's a closed cylinder and uh, we are going to develop this so we have this and uh, this is the top so we are going to develop this cylinder so we have this to be our cylinder to develop today so now we have the the radius of the cylinder to be three centimeters which is 30 millimeters so with your compass you draw a circle you draw a circle a circle and the radius is three centimeters which is 30 millimeters now after drawing the circle you divide the circle into 12 parts 12 equal parts so we are going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts so first with our t square that is into two then with our c square Then after dividing the, uh, the circle into four, uh, with, this, with the same radius, at this point, you draw an arc. Then uh, at this point, you draw another arc. We are, going, we are dividing the circle into 12 equal parts. So in the same way, at this point, you draw an arc. this point you draw another arc like this then you draw a straight line you draw a line from here through the center to this point then here as well from here through the center to this point then you move to this side as well from here through the center to this end and here through the center this thing yeah so we have this and after dividing the circle into 12 equal parts then you number it so we have one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have this. Then we are going to draw the the uh, the front view. So with this, you take your uh, your t square with your t square and your c square. You extend the line from this end. From here, draw a faint line like this. Yeah. Now the front view, then you draw the layer like this. Then you want the height, the height, which is uh, the distance um, from here to this side. We take it to be uh, seven centimeters seven centimeters so you measure your seven centimeters then mark then you draw your line to this side then with your six square So we have this to be the front, the front view. Then extend this like they are going to draw the de development of the surface. The development of the surface. So Draw a line, you extend this, this line, good. Then um, after drawing this line, then with your compass, you measure one side. can be um, um one to um one to two like this then you mark twelve you first draw one side first let's uh draw the side here like this with your with your t square and your c square Yes. So this, so we know where to start from. Let's draw one side like this. So now, with the measurement taken from here, that is one, the one we measured. So you mark twelve. So we have one. two three four five six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, and the last twelve. Good.
de noi de osescu e. I draw these lines. Close like this. Moving your C square. Your T square. The angle between the the T square. Then your T square should be on a good. If your T square is not good, always your Vet, uh, your horizontal line and the vertical lines or how to, if you want to construct a perpendicular light always wrong you can't get 90 degrees so always you need to, you need to check your t square if is the t square is on good condition if your t square is not good always you need to get a new t square because in technical drawing it, the T square and the C square. We that is the uh, the instrument we always use to draw perpendicular lines and the vertical lines. So you need to check your T square. Then let's uh, draw this line. Then here as well. Then you number it. So we have one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then you write one. That is how we do it. You start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, then 1. Because now, let me show you from this. No, let me, let's draw the, the top, which is uh, this one. Now, with your, with your compass, you take the radius, which was three centimeters. Then at this point, You draw this. That is this one. The top. Now we have the plan, the front view, then the development of the surface. So this is how to uh, develop a cylinder. You draw your circle. You divide the circle into 12 parts then you extend the lines here to get the front view so we have here this side from here to here is the same as the red uh, the diameter then we had our the height of the cylinder which is 
seven centimeters so we have it here then development of the surface you extend these two lines then you measure one of these then you divide it into 12 equal parts then you number it one two three up to 12 one and for the base or the down or the top or the cover you can you just take your radius to draw this so this is how to develop a cylinder is how to develop a cylinder so this is the development of the surface so that is after taking the, the tip out this how it looks like is the same as this you know so we are now when you fold this when you fold it when you fold it like this yeah with the with the tape then you get see how it, then you get your your cylinder and with this it goes like this the cover then it goes like this so when when you develop it is how development of the surface this is how what you see or what you get now it's very simple you always have to know the radius of this um, of the cylinder then the height of the cylinder with that you can develop the surface thank you very much for coming to this this class or this lesson and um if please if you are new to this channel or you are new to this class uh please subscribe and be part of this class and for my subscribers thank you very much for always coming along let's keep drawing to keep the world moving without drawing there will be nothing on this planet eight thank you very much for coming i will see you in my next class bye